Hello and welcome to the Tray Makes and More Cooking Channel. I'm Callie and today I've got another properly retro, old school classic tray bake here. This is Pineapple Delight. It's a digestive biscuit base followed by a layer of buttercream and the top is whipped cream and pineapple and then I've just grated some chocolate over the top of that just to finish it off. Again, properly old school, properly retro, really tasty, creamy, fruity, sweet, delicious. Pineapple Delight tray bake. Okay, first things first as usual, line your tray bake tin. Got my eight inch tin here again, a 20 centimeter square tin. Just got some baking parchment pushed into the corners here, nothing too fancy, nothing too particular. A couple of bulldog clips to hold the paper in place, stop things moving around. And I am also preheating my oven to 325 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 160 degrees Celsius. So this time we're gonna bake this digestive biscuit base. Um, and that's it, preparation's done, let's get baking. Right, the first stage is to make the base. It's another super simple, stop clanging rings, super simple uh, digestive biscuit graham cracker base. All I've got in here are my digestive biscuit crumbs, graham cracker crumbs, and uh, I've just processed those in my food processor to a very fine crumb. I'm gonna mix it with some melted butter, and then we'll press it into the bottom of the tin and pop it in the oven for 10 or 15 minutes. Okay, so I've got the crumbs and the butter mixture. Just tipped it into my tray bake tin here to flip it over my work surface as well, but you know, that happens. And I'm just gonna press this down with my little uh, handy spatula thing here and um, then pop it in the oven. Now the next stage for this pineapple delight is the buttercream layer. Simply icing sugar and butter. I've also got half a teaspoon of vanilla in here and a little splash of cream just to help it all come together and be nice and smooth and spreadable. Um, at this point in the classic Pineapple Delight recipe, there is an egg added to the buttercream layer, which I'm leaving out because not a lot of people really want to eat raw egg in their tray bakes these days. Um, you can include it if you want, if you don't have an issue with that, if you know where your eggs are coming from and you're happy with that. But to be honest, it tastes just as good without the egg in there, so uh, you don't really need it. So we're just gonna whisk this up until it's all nice and light and fluffy, and then we'll spread it over the base after that's cooled when it's come out of the oven. Right, so we made the buttercream, we have cooled the base, it's out of the oven now, um, and all I've done here is essentially put big dollops of buttercream spread over the base here so I don't have to do too much moving around and uh, disturb the base. It's still a little bit crumbly. You don't want to move it too much. Just going to spread this buttercream over um, and then we'll move on to the next layer. All right, final layer is just whipped cream and crushed pineapple. Drain, you know, a good bit of the juice from the pineapple so it's not too wet here. And we're just going to fold the pineapple through the whipped cream and spread it on top of the buttercream. So I'm just going to put this into the fridge to set for a few hours or even overnight just to let all of the, the layers set properly because the buttercream, you want that to firm up a bit before you try and slice into it. Um, you've got a couple of options when it comes to serving this. Uh, you can just leave it plain. You could crumble a digestive biscuit over the top and just have some digestive biscuit crumbs over it. Or my personal favorite is a little bit of chocolate. Maybe a crumbled flake bar if you have one of those, or just grate some chocolate, little chocolate shavings over the top of it. And there you have it, Pineapple Delight Tray Bake. So keep an eye out for more recipes, subscribe to my channel, tell your family and friends, and I'll see you again soon on Tray Bakes and More.